Hey there, I'm your host, The Bread Pirate, and welcome to our Winter Facts video. And no, no, I'm not late. It is still winter. Spring does not start until the spring equinox, which is March 19th, 2024, 11.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, okay? So I better not hear anybody say, Um, actually, Bread Pirate, spring starts on March 1st, according to meteorologists. Meteorologists can't even tell you if it's gonna be raining today. Are you gonna trust them or the astronomers who came up with the spring equinox and know where an asteroid is gonna be in 532 years? <laughs> Here is fact number one. Did you know that you could use sapphires to blow up ore deposits? It's pretty effective. You can also use rupees. And if you want to get spicy, use topaz. The only one that doesn't work is opal. Still hurts though. The person that told me this fact, Dino Shark, also let me know that it's incredibly helpful when going after monsters in the depths. Number two. If you want to make a giant snowball in Tears of the Kingdom, just use Ultra Hand. By dragging snowballs on the ground left and right, they get big really fast. And while this is cool in and of itself, you can pair this with another fact that was shared on one of Rin Harasaki's videos a few months ago. In his video, he explained that depending on the size of the snowball, when you fuse it to a weapon, it will do more or less damage. So, when we fuse this large snowball to our weapon, we get a plus three modifier. However, when we go over to this tiny one, we only get a plus one. Pretty cool. Thank you, Mr. Torgu, for sharing that one on Reddit. Bonus fact. While I was recording, I discovered that snowballs attached to weapons are treated like ice fruits attached to weapons. Number three. It's been well known since Breath of the Wild that if you use an ice attack near an apple orchard, that all of the apples will fall down. However, what most people don't know is that the same thing applies to bees, and it will get rid of the bees for you. Thanks for the tip, Scott. Well, here's a sad one. A few years ago on Reddit, Duplex Link discovered that you could destroy Liz Alphos with an easy meat fire trap because they would all rush over to eat the meat and then get burnt by the flames. However, in Tears of the Kingdom, the Liz Alphos have gotten smarter. You can no longer trick them in the same way because they will blow the meat off before they eat it. Oh, me mother Tilly. Number five. Recently, Andrew Eater was exploring Hebra when they stumbled upon this strange statue in the snow. Curious about what it was, he reached out to Reddit for answers, and together with all the other users, they realized it was one of the bowling pins from Pondo's snow bowling game in Breath of the Wild. It appears that the upheaval tipped over all of Pondo's pins, and he never put them back up. Oh, and in case you're curious, Pondo is fine. Some people online were worried that he was dead, but no, he is still here. Good luck with your future endeavors, strange Afro man. Number six. Welcome back to the Bachelor Pad, also known as uh, the, the the shed. Um, it, it's a shed. Probably ought to get an upgrade, although you know the housing market and everything right now. It's it's crazy. Anyways, I got a demonstration for you. Feast your eyes on this. Boom! I call it the Frosty Fire 2000. It makes you on fire and frozen at the same time. Thank you to Skits for the idea. Here's how it works. Step one, hit the things. Step two, go into your options because you accidentally enabled Pro HUD mode like an idiot and gotta get rid of it. And then step three, step into the middle of the two beams of fire and ice until you're able to see this effect in the bottom right. And boom, you're on fire and on ice, on ice, stupid. But you're, you're both of the things at the same time. So yeah, uh, have fun getting fourth degree burns and frostbite at the same time. You're welcome. And number seven. This might be the last fact on this list, but if you like and subscribe, then there will be more fact videos coming in the near future. So, frost pebblets. <laughs> Don't you just hate these guys? It's a normal pebblet, but now it freezes you. It's just, just great. But thankfully, if you find them annoying, Nintendo has offered many ways of dealing with them. For example, if you warm them up with a flame blade, then you'll be able to give them a hug. Why, why have you done this to me? It's called killing with kindness. Meanwhile, obliteration is always an option. Ah! Or, if you want to be fancy, you can use the snow quilt set or the Zant hood, and it'll allow you to pick them up without being frozen. You might not like it, but this hood is what peak performance looks like. Or, if you're lazy like me, you could just pick them up regardless, and although you'll take half a heart of damage, you will cause one less pebblet to exist in the world. That's a fair trade-off in my book. Bonus fact. The Earthquake Manual is not capable of killing stone pebblets. However, it is capable of causing them to fall on their face like idiots. Yeah, yeah, that's right, you stupid piece of rock. 
Get out of here! What's the problem? Gotta cry to your little rock, mommy! Wait a minute, what is that? Oh. He does have a rock mommy. Run! But anyways, that is the end of the video. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go change my wardrobe because winter is out and spring is in. And I'm gonna be going with a new color this year. But until I see you then, have fun storming the castle.